typical day in New York City. $2 for a hot dog, $2.25 to ride the subway, and $2.50 for the day's newspaper. All standard, but the day's 80 degree temperature isn't. It could be 90 here, 80 across the street, and dip to 74 a short walk away. The 16 degree difference? Trees. Trees play a really important role in keeping our cities cool. They filter the sunlight and provide shade for people to enjoy. A few strategically placed trees around buildings can drastically reduce the amount of energy it takes to cool a building in the summer, and also keeping it warmer in the winter by reducing the amount of wind that is hitting that building. Air conditioning and heating without the noise and electricity. The Mighty Tree, a dream appliance with endless features. It can interrupt and slow rainfall, reduce runoff, and filter the oil, grime, and pollutants found in it. It can intercept dust and other airborne particles while absorbing greenhouse gases while producing oxygen. They're also really effective at keeping the, the noise down in the city. Cities tend to be pretty noisy places, but when you walk into a park like this, you can drastically realize the reduction in noise. A cleaner, quieter, and more comfortable place to call home because of some trees? Taken as a whole, these tree-lined streets and neighborhood parks add up. When most people think of forests, they think of big expanses of forest land like in our national parks and our national forests. But actually, 25% of our nation's canopy is in our backyards and in our cities. And about 80% of the U.S. population now live in cities and urban areas. So for a lot of people, these city parks and tree-lined streets are their nature. Yet unfortunately, we don't always make things easy for trees. It's pretty tough to be a tree in the city. They're usually surrounded by concrete. There's sidewalks, streets, subways, power lines, all sorts of things to limit the amount of space that a tree needs to grow and reach maturity. And then the trees have to withstand people piling up garbage or other things up against them or interfering with their access to water. Or the wrong kind of water. Trees and dogs have an interesting relationship. Dogs are attracted to trees for marking their territory, but young trees don't do well with dogs that are peeing and, and pooping on their roots. They, they really need um, clean, fresh water um, at that early stage to, to grow and become strong. Curb your dog. That means Fifi and Fido handle their business at the curb. Good dog, and not on trees and tree beds. There are many things that we can do to help trees remain strong and healthy. One of the things that you can do is to plant a tree, but just planting a tree is just the first step. That young tree needs to be cared for. It needs to be watered, it needs to be tended, it needs to be given a good start so that it can grow up and provide those services that we all expect of the trees in our urban areas. These citizen arborists in Brooklyn, New York are weeding and tending tree beds to ensure their trees reach maturity. And the simple act of not stepping on a tree bed keeps the soil loose and maximizes the water and nutrients that can seep down to a tree's roots. And don't forget to just enjoy trees. They are our picnic spots, offices, and jungle gyms. Combine that with the work that urban foresters, park staff, and other tree care professionals perform every day, Yes, you can get paid to climb trees, and our trees have everything they need to make our cities downright enjoyable. Almost. Non-native insects like the emerald ash borer and the Asian longhorn beetle pose a major threat. These two species have killed millions of trees and caused billions of dollars of damage throughout the country. Luckily, we can make all the difference. If you see an unhealthy tree or unusual bug, tell your local park authorities. There are many apps that help you explore the trees in your area, monitor them, and report problems when you see them. The tree is negative. No beetles, uh, the typical squirrel. That's about it though, no beetle. Urban trees and forests and parks actually provide people with the opportunity to experience nature where they live, work, and play. Trees just aren't nice things to have around. They're actually essential to keeping our communities healthy, clean, and enjoyable. Just by being a tree and standing tall. Nature works hard, and that's why we work hard for nature.